And the first thing I read of my mother's was her book Blessings because it was dedicated to me. And I felt like it would be unfair of me and kind of a, a jerk move of me to not read this book she had dedicated to me as her kid. So I read it and I loved it. And then I went back and read some of her other books being like, okay, you know, she's a good writer. I've, I've broken this seal, as it were. I might as well just, just keep going. Um, I've been showing my mom a lot of my writing since I was a kid, mainly because a lot of it was also homework and she would check it because I would do anything in my power to get out of doing homework. Um, and so in that aspect, it's, it's, we've always been able to share writing. Um, I didn't show her Heavy Metal and You until it got a deal. Um, until David Levithan actually emailed her and said, what do you think of your son's novel? Um, and it was, this is a funny story. I was in my room and my mom, I hear her door slam in her office, which is directly above my room. And then I heard these loud footsteps moving straight down into my room. And then the door booms open and my mom's there. And she's like, you wrote a friggin' novel and you didn't tell me what's wrong with you. How could you do this? So it, it um, ended up working out well because, you know, she did get to read my stuff and, and she was happy to read it. But, you know, at the same time, I also feel like one of the things she's made very clear to me as a writer is it's okay to be very protective of your work and your characters and everything like that, which is something I am. I do not um, send sample pages to my friends to see what they think and stuff. If I'm showing you my novel uh, before it's been published, it's because I trust you and I'm really interested to hear what you think.